Scorpio, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you as always. If you're my ride or die and you keep clicking here, thank you so much. If you are someone who is brand new, I hope you'll play in the comments with us. Let me know if you are watching for a cross watcher or if this is uh, Scorpio is in your sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. It would be good to know. I'd like to get to know y'all. That's how we get more interesting readings. Okay, so Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Here's you for the week ahead, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you. Scorpio. Okay. Oh, they're popping out, are they? And we're going to take them as they fall, for sure. Scorpio, you've been manifesting a new beginning. Yeah. I feel like you're almost ready. The cup of love is in your hand. I feel like you're standing on, on the porch, sort of looking outside looking into the it feels like a clearing like I see somebody looking into a clearing like a vast clearing so I feel like you're just sort of contemplating this and I often see the page of, of pentacles like that it's the contemplation of now I've got everything I need to materialize this to make it materialize in the 3d for this brand new start all I just need to do is put my effort toward it and this manifestation can come true so Scorpio it sounds like you're on the edge of something um, I feel like I feel like you want to take in messages of love, but I also feel like you want to be very grounded about it. Whatever's in the future for you, if it's a, re a relationship or a new job or whatever it is for you, Scorpio, I feel like you feel you have all the tools, that you're prepared to do it. And now it's just, you know, to find some fire to push you forward, right? We don't have any action cards here yet. We know that you are carrying this uh, message of love in your heart. We also know that you, th that you now feel like you have enough to at least offer something small in the 3D world or something to materialize here. Magician for me is Aries. All right. <laughs> you have to stop standing there. Yeah, that's a good start. You got to stop standing there. So I feel like you've been in um, sort of in indecision, contemplation. Uh, arguing with yourself as to whether this is actually going to this this one pentacle here is it actually going to take root i feel like that's what the question is it is it actually going to grow if i plant it i feel as though you've done everything that you can up to here scorpio if you're wondering i feel like you have passed th you've you've gone along the right path that's what it feels like um we have the death card, which means something has come to an end and something is about to begin. It's a transformation of energy, I feel. I feel you begin with, well, I can offer something small. You know, let's go for a coffee. Let's go to the park. I really feel like I have all the tools going into the future to offer much more than that. But I feel like it comes after this transformational energy. It feels like a brand new start from something old. It's like I've... It's like someone who has said to themselves, I am now going to try something new, but I'm not going to do it in the same way that I did it before. I'm going to use all my tools this time. We have the Lovers and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you have passionate feelings for someone that you feel is your person. Let's take a look here, Scorpio. The death card is Scorpio, by the way. You are a transformational energy. And the reason that transformation shows up as major arcana, something that's coming at you 100, right? You have your option as to whether you want to react or respond, but it's coming at you. The new, the new opportunity, the new way forward is coming forward. And you just need to find your courage. I feel like you're going out to find an empress or you could be the empress. This could be for some of you who are going to decide to use all your tools, which is going to send you into the empress energy or on that path. And for some of you, the empress is the one that's in the future that you're looking for. And you know that this person is single. And uh, Scorpio, I feel like you've disconnected from this person, but now you want to move forward again. 
you want to come in fun, flirty, do all the things, right? Just try and do all the things right. Um, Lighthearted. Yeah, it's like reckless abandon. You have to be kind of in that energy of, uh, I don't care what comes next. I'll handle it as it comes. It's been a long time. And I think that it makes you a little bit nervous because it's been a long time since you've seen this person. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. I had to go over all the details. I had things I had to get done. Yeah, moving slowly. Gets you to the end of the line, right? Gets you to the finish line. Just gets you there slower. There we go. So I feel that in your transformation, you level up into an emperor energy here. Scorpio, I feel like even though the emperor is an uh, is is Aries that's the sign that's attached to it please understand we're looking at the energy of an emperor and I feel like the emperor, emperor if anything is courageous even at times when the emperor is terrified the emperor will lead into battle the emperor is always battle ready and even at times when the emperor is um, scared or frightened or defensive they're going to move forward anyway because that's where they thrive that's where the emperor thrives now the thing is this yes the emperor is at the top of his game but we're all fallible we're all human right this is not this human here this human person that might be attached to this energy of the emperor is not impervious to all the things that go on in the world like they go on for you and i the emperor is just someone who is who is brave enough to run at the fire who is the person who will make the decision regardless of everyone they'll make the decision for the best for everyone involved but the the emperor if it's a person for you the emperor is a human and is is has fear and has to gather courage just like all of us do going into new cycles so i feel like somebody here is um is uh has has leveled up to the emperor energy and when i say leveled up it's because you've mastered all of the kings and not everybody is an emperor uh, this person could be a, a business owner. Um, if they're not a business owner, they're someone who is in the corporate world that is in the upper echelons of corporate world and um, is someone who makes big decisions on everyone else's lives. They might be signing the check as the CFO um, or, you know, making decisions as a CEO, something like that. But this person, I feel, is feeling defensive. Yeah. It's time to go. It's going to be okay, Scorpio. If you decide to take the step forward into the future, it's going to be okay. The sun is here. You've put in so much growth in such a short period of time, Scorpio, that I feel like even though you've learned that it takes courage, but even though you feel defensive or everything is not looking exactly as you want it or people are in your ear telling you what to do, it's going to be okay because you're the emperor. You're used to making the decisions that are hard and the decisions that are not so hard, right? Once you make the decision to stop um, looking so far ahead into the future, I feel like you are going to be okay. I feel like you'll be less defensive. I feel like you'll begin to sleep better. I feel like you'll get out of this, uh, this um, energy that is so overwhelmingly obsessive. I feel like there's obsessive thinking going on here. What am I going to say? How am I going to say it? What if I say it the wrong way and they don't like it? Well, if they don't like it, they don't like it, Scorpio, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Somebody is very up in their head about moving forward towards something in the future that's going to require them to ask the right questions, get some clarity, um, to, and you need to stop overthinking it because the, the universe is throwing you the sun here. We have Leo energy here. For those of you who are wondering, we have Aries twice. We have Leo uh, twice as well. Could be have something to do with the Leo. I feel like you're manifesting reciprocity and passion. I feel as though you um, are holding some sort of energy, holding on to an attachment. You have thoughts. There's a lot of swords here, and I feel like you have thoughts about something that you left in the past, someone that you left in the past. Maybe there was something you left un undone. There's two swords that this person is looking at in the past. They may go back for them, but is it is it too risky to go back for them? Yeah. I feel like you're incredibly, like, intoxicatingly attracted if this is love. 
I feel like you're ready and willing to give that person reciprocity. That is your manifestation. You're manifesting someone to love. Could be a Capricorn. Could be um, Leo. Could be Aries. I feel like you're manifesting someone in your future that you're incredibly intoxicated with but also someone that you feel attached to you have an attachment with this person and you don't know why you can't get out of their energy they can't get out of yours you you keep looking back you keep looking back i need clarity about the past i need to get that that's what you're obsessing about is clarity from the past i believe we've got the page of um the page of water, which tells me that there might be an apology involved, um, that there might be feelings here that, um, you know, besides the, the Knight of Cups here, the Page of Cups is the only other cup. And I feel like somebody here has been, um, is, is feeling like they need to go forward and be clear about how they feel about someone uh, or get clear about how someone feels about them. But I feel like the manifestation after the transformation here, the transformation from, from I'm standing here with my pentacle and as I'm the page, right? Someone who's starting again, brand new. I don't know what to do with this pentacle. Is it going to take? To the transformation that makes you realize that actually you're the magician. You're the one that's in charge of the illusion that you build. You're the one who is who is making the decisions and building as you go. And I feel like that energy reminds you that you always were the emperor. You always were the person in charge, the one that makes the own my own rules for my own life. That's what the emperor is for me. But even though there's things ahead, and you want the things in the future, I believe, but I feel as though you're feeling apprehensive, overthinking it, wanting clarity, needing clarity, looking in the past, someone's attached to me. I can't get rid of this attachment of this person that I'm super attracted to, Ace of Wands, and I, I can't get rid of the feeling of wanting to give it to them reciprocally. Like, they, I feel like that person feels the same way about me as I do about them. That's what it feels like. What's the clarity? The clarity is the king of wands. The clarity in the future is if this is going to get done, I do have to be the one to take charge. I do have to be the one to take the action. That's who the knight of wands is, right? Taking the action, taking the risks. Somebody wants clarity, but they know that they're going to have to take a risk to get that clarity. Three of wands. Toes are off the edge. I gotta go. I gotta go because I have a feeling got a wand in the hand right casting a spell i have a feeling it's going to be fine i have a feeling that things are going to go off as they should and if even if they don't i'm going to have adventure what comes after the two of wands is the three of wands right you make the decision at the two of wands and at the three of wands you go apprehension and waiting but still you go because now you're ready to work on it eight of pentacles you're ready to work on it maybe you've worked on yourself and now you're ready to work on whatever life is going to give you in the future. I feel like you need to communicate with someone or you want to communicate with someone. It is this person who possibly you've been hiding your feelings from. And you've been overthinking the whole thing. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Swords again. So you're obsessively thinking about this person, but I think you've realized and it's time to go. There's so many swords here for a water reading, for for the waterness of you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like the yeah, with the with the seven of swords, I feel like you've been lying to someone about your feelings. It's time to move forward. It's time to you've learned the lessons. You've got all the lessons learned now. There's no reason why you can't move forward, and I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to move forward, and I feel like there is probably a conversation coming up because we have the Ace of Swords here. We have the uh, Four of uh, Pentacles, which tells me you're doing it incognito. You're under the surface. You're not telling anybody. You're not sharing anybody with anybody that you're going to go move forward. I feel you're going to move forward to this person or this energy or this job you've been hanging on to. I think you're going to go for it. There we go. And we get the Six of Pentacles again because you need reciprocity. And um, it's time for you to break the silence. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles is I need to give reciprocity. Um, the Six of Pentacles is I need to find out what's going on here and... We are uh, going to stop the silence. Yep, there we go. You've been watching and waiting. It's time to talk. 
Interesting. There we are. We are in the shadow of retrograde, right? We've got uh, the uh, judgment card, which means that um, you've been granted a second chance. Something that something that you think is dead and gone, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're getting up and going toward that thing. You're like, no, it's not gone. I have to check out if it's gone, if it's done. But the universe is saying, look, we're giving you the path clear. Take what you need and move ahead because you this thing that you thought was dead may not necessarily be dead. And the universe is saying, look, if you so will it, I will resurrect it. So I feel as though it's time for you to move forward and to... Um, to go get the thing that you wanted to get, whatever that thing is for you, whether it's uh, someone you're in love with uh, or a job, new career, whatever that is for you. If it is a person who we're talking about, let's find out some details. <coughs> Scorpio is my own deck. <coughs> it's just made up of uh, answers to questions people ask me in private reads. Who are they? What do they look like? Where are they from? How will I know when it's them? That kind of thing. Who are we talking about for you, Scorpio? We are talking about someone who's possibly quite closed off. Or you think they're closed off. Because the universe is telling you to go forward. And I think you're going to go forward regardless of whether you feel they're closed off or not. But this person you may feel is closed off to you. Your ideas, seeing you, that kind of thing. Um, someone who is very hard to convince, possibly a fixed sign, right? Which is Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Ah, the end of the waiting is near. So you are going to make a step forward, or they are. Uh, flip it as you need to, for it to resonate for you. But I feel like you're going to take a step forward, even though either you're feeling closed off or you feel like they are. The end of your waiting is near. So I feel like it is time for you to step off the edge. We did see the three of wands, right? You're waiting to take a step off the edge. This person that you will be um, going toward is a seeker of emotions. So this person is going to uh, be attracted to how you feel. Um, the emotional attraction is what it is. And I feel like this is something you already have with them. Um, that could mean that you both have prominent water in your chart. Um, of course, you are the sun. They could have it in the sun, moon, or rising. This person is a seeker of emotional people. They like, um, they like people who lead with their heart over their head. This person could be someone that you worked with. Doesn't have to be. But um, the person that you're moving towards could be someone who you met in the corporate world. Um, as I had mentioned before, that this person could be someone who is in the corporate world, right? Um, being the emperor, they might be someone who um, either works in the corporate world or someone that you met there. And they may make contact with you or you with them in the next few days. So it's true, the waiting is almost over. In the next few days, what is the next few days? It is this person who seeks material things as well. To me, that's water and earth. So they could have water and earth in the chart, for sure. This might be someone um, that you will be connecting with in the next few days, should you choose to do that. This person is emotionally available for you, Scorpio. They, I feel like when these cards come out, it's because maybe they weren't initially or they weren't before, but this person is emotionally available. They could have Sagittarius in the chart, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, right? You might want to go back and watch the Sagittarius reading. And this person is a past life connection. And that makes sense to me because you keep looking into the past. The person who's trying to get away with something, the person who's lying about their feelings or keeping them hidden, there's some sort of deception here about, I thought it was over, I'm pretty sure it's over. Um, this deception here of not telling someone how you feel, the Ace of Wands and the Devil is like this kind of carnal sort of energy, like, how can I say, it's like, it's like such an attraction, it's pulling you in. And I think that's why we have the judgment card. So for some of you, it's going to be this scenario. 
Um, this person that you could be, you could be the father or you could be uh, someone who is going toward a father. But I feel like um, we already knew that with the emperor. I feel like you're feeling good. You're feeling on top of your game and or maybe it's them, but take it as it resonates. You're feeling on top of your game. You're feeling a little defensive, but you know that you must push forward regardless. The sun is here. Yes, there's a lot to think about. There's a conversation that's going to happen here. Um, and communication and clarity will come with this person. It's the conversation about, it's about why did it take so long? Why did it take you so long, Scorpio? Because I've always known you were my nine of cups and I've been waiting. I've been waiting and trying to heal. Heal from the last time that I saw you. You disconnected from me, but I need justice. I need to know what's going on. Are you still disconnected? All right. I'm going to leave it there for now. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming here and watching this. I do appreciate you. Get me in the comments. I love the comments. I'd like to know if this is part of your scenario or not. And uh, I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Scorpio. We'll see you next week um, for the sneak peek for the week and for your reading for the following week. I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Scorpio. Bye-bye.